Kia ora koutou, he mihi nui ki a koutou, nau mai hara mai ki te whare taonga. Ko keitaho, he kaia ko au kei konei kei te whare tauka o Otago. Hi everybody, my name's Kate and I work here at Otago Museum as an educator. Today I want to talk to you about Māori art and music. Back in the past, before the arrival of Europeans, there was no written language the way we would think about it today. Instead, people would pass stories and information on orally by speaking and listening, and there was a strong emphasis on memorising knowledge to pass from one generation to the next. Stories and songs could be used to do things like codify knowledge around the landscape to create a mental map. You can think about examples like the story of Auraki and his waka linked to the Southern Alps. Or maybe the story of Rakai Hotu, an early ancestor of Waitaha who dug the lakes, lakes of Te Waipaunamu. Stories and songs are passed down and we can get an idea of the way people lived. So artefacts, archaeology and oral histories all contribute to our understanding of Māori people's lives in the past. Creative arts like waiata, music, whakairo, carving, raraka, weaving and even te ana whakairo or rock art can give us an idea of the things people were doing and the things they were thinking about in those olden days. We're going to head down to Tangata Whenua Gallery and have a look at our beautiful collection of Tauka Māori in relation to Māori art. And later we'll have a look at some Tauka Puro or Māori musical instruments and learn how they are made, played and used. So I'm looking forward to talking to you more about Māori art and music. Kia ora anō.